you need to look at where the stump is, you need to look at whether there's any damage, where you've got and where there's a gap, and that will all give you an idea of where to lay the right, the camera. And starting up higher than you would think, um, I'm going to gently work my way down through the bleach. I might put in the odd upstroke as well, just to... Um, so I do... A nice way of doing it is to do lots of chips like that, and then follow through and work it down like that. Nice and taking it nice and taking it down nice and low. And it's actually about a gentle gradient. If I was to go in too steep, then it could split upwards. And it's the volume of the wood that makes it split. So if I leave too much wood above my cut, it'll split upwards. And that's just embarrassing. Um, and it means that you get these pictures that do that break off and die and really don't work. So if anything you want it to split down, if you're really good it won't split either direction at all. Um, so this is my favourite skill of them all. So don't be lazy, don't just hack at the bottom, keep going up, keep it coming down at a gentle gradient, that way you miss the humiliation of an upward split and a broken bleach. It doesn't do the tree any good either. It's getting down there, it's starting to split down. Are you alright? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so he's coming down. A little bit, little bit of upwards going on there, so we'll trim that off. Right, that's nice. Ish. Right, so where do we want the new stall coming up? Um, I'd say we'd want it about here. So, and this is the bit I'm really, really uneasy about. It just doesn't feel right digging into ancient wooden soil. Um, so I'm very cautious. And I'm not digging big trenches, tiny little slot, because all I want to do is create a little run so just counter sink him into a bit more there. There we are. Right now, take a peg. Here's one I've finished. Um, doesn't need to have a really long side arm. And um, when you point it, keep the point sort of in the same plane as the, as, as your side arm. If you were to point it that way it would be more likely to twist. So do it all in one plane. It's a little tip. Um, he's just got to go down enough. These might split on you occasionally, doesn't matter. Make a new one. Yeah, the peg's holding it tight. Give it a little notch, just to encourage it to germinate. Some people notch above and earth up. Some people like to notch before you, you do. And we don't want to dig pits and disturb bluebells and that, but you do have to make sure that particularly the earth that you've taken from when you're just slightly countersinking it is over it and that he's covered in earth not leaf litter but earth and that, that's important and that is the spot where I hope in time we'll get a new young hazel coming up through and that is bleaching That's a nice stall as well. I like the way you know you got them all sloping away from the heart. 